Now, this is a real danger that um, some, it's not only countries, you have, uh, so to say, a public mood is a little bit uh, shifting. Uh, normally, globalization, international cooperation was the key for development né? because it, it made us richer, it made us more prosperous, it made us uh, peace, uh, in a peaceful way cooperating. And today we see tendencies in uh, a lot of countries and also in the public opinion that globalization is uh, not, um, not for everybody. Uh, this is an, an e unequal benefiting, so the rich are benefiting more than, let's say, the global south or uh, the, the, the less uh, developed um, uh, parts of the population. There is a growing tendency for protectionism, sanctions. I, 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 I'm more brutal saying that we see a weaponizing, uh, weaponizing of everything, trade, financial streams, technology, uh, migrants, mm -hmm. food. I think this is a real danger. This decoupling idea is crazy because uh, it would make us poorer. The International Monetary Fund prepared a study in spring this year. Uh, if really America and China would decouple, it would mean a tremendous loss of up to 7% of the global GDP. And this is uh, more than the financial crisis of 2007-8, plus the pandemic crisis together caused damage. So I think this is uh, terrible. Decoupling would be a very negative impact and I don't see it. It will not happen.